do you um do you think there's other alien civilizations out there first do you think there's other life out there F first do you think there's life in the solar system second do you think there's life in the galaxy and uh third do you think there's intelligent life in the solar system or the galaxy outside of earth so intelligent life i have no idea it seems deeply unlikely uh possible but i'm not even sure if it's plausible so that's the special thing to you about Earth is somehow intelligent life came yes. to be. Yes, and it's only, you know, very briefly, probably extremely briefly. Um, Uh-oh, you mean like it's always going to, be, like we're going to destroy ourselves? Exactly. Oh boy. And life will continue on Earth happily, uh, probably more happily. Um, so the trees and the dolphins will be here, I'm telling you. And the cockroaches and the yeah. incredible fungi, you yes. know, they'll be fine. Uh, so life on Earth will be fine, was fine before us and will be fine after us. So I'm not that worried about intelligent life, but I, I think it is unlikely, even on Earth is unlikely. Out of, what is it, five billion species across the history of the Earth? Yes. There's been one, an intelligent one, and for a blink of an eye, uh, yes. possibly not much longer than that. Uh, so I'd, I wouldn't bet on that at all. Though I would love it, of course. You know, I... I wanted to find aliens since I was a little girl. And so, of course, I initially wanted to find ones that I could be friends with. Yeah. And I've had to let go of that dream because it's so deeply implausible. But see, the nice, and sorry to interrupt, but the nice thing about intelligent alien civilizations, they may have more biosignatures than non-intelligent ones. So they might be easier to detect. That, that would be the hope. On Earth, that's not the case, but it could be the case elsewhere. Oh, it's not the case on Earth. We Most of the biosignatures we have on Earth are created by quite simple life. If you don't count pollution, pollution is all. Well, so all us, all, all well, us baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't see uh, polluting gases as a as a possible like. I look for polluting gases. I would love to find polluting gases. Well, you know, I'd be worried for them, of course, the same way I. I think about my alien colleagues all the time, looking at us, and I'm sure they worry about our pollutions. But it would be a really good, robust, unambiguous sign of life if we found complex pollutants. So I look for those too. Yeah. I just don't have any hope of finding them. I think intelligent life in the galaxy at the same time that we're looking is yeah. deeply implausible. But life, I think, is inevitable. And if it is inevitable, it is common. So I think there'll be life everywhere in the galaxy. Now, how common that life is, I think will depend a lot on whether there's life in the solar system beyond Earth. So I'll adjust my expectations very much based on there being life in the solar system. If there's life in the Venusian clouds, if there's life in the, if there are biosignatures coming out of the plumes of Enceladus, if there's life on Titan, Oh, yeah, that's right. And so, yeah, yeah, plumes of Enceladus. That's the um, that's the Saturn one. It's the moon that has the geysers that come out, yeah. and so you can't see the under the subterranean oceans. But it's supposed to, it's a, so it would be in the atmosphere. I was going to ask you about that one. Uh, have you looked at that? Uh, have you is is that a hope for you to use the tools that you're using with Rascal uh, and other <laughs> <laughs> ways for detecting the sixteen thousand? Uh, um, molecules that might be biosignatures to look at Enceladus? Yes, that's absolutely the plan. Is and, there, what's, and, the, what's the limiting factor currently? Is it the, the, the quality of the telescopes? Is uh, what's, the, what's the, the, the quality of the data? Yeah, the quality of the data, the observational data, and also the quality of Rascal and other associated things. So we're missing a lot of fundamental data to interpret the data that we get, and we don't have good enough data. Um, but hopefully we will, in the coming decades, we'll get some information on Titan. We have Dragonfly going over. Uh, we'll get the plumes of Enceladus. We will look at the clouds of Venus and there's other places. And so if we find any life or any sign of life ever, like on Mars, then I'll adjust my calculations and I'll say life is not just inevitable and common, but extremely common. Because all of these places we've mentioned, the subterranean oceans on Enceladus, the methane oceans of Titan, the clouds of Venus, the acidic clouds of Venus, these are places that are very different from the places where we find life on Earth, even the most extreme places. 
And so if life can originate in all of these completely different habitats, then life is even more resourceful than we thought. Yeah, that's which means really it's everywhere. That's really exciting if it's everywhere. If if there's life on just one one of the moons, if it's on Mars. Anywhere. Anywhere in the solar system. And I will bet everything I own that every solar system, every planetary system has a potential for habitability, you know, because even if they don't have a habitable planet, they'll have moons around other giant planets and there'll be so much life. So for me, that's the only thing to figure out now, whether life is inevitable and quite common throughout the galaxy or everywhere, mm -hmm. but it's somewhere between those two. Intelligent life, I make no bets. And See, if I had to bet, I would be against. See, to me, like two discoveries in the 21st century would change everything. One is, and maybe I'm biased, but one is a discovery of life in the solar system. I feel like that would change our whole conception of how unique we are in the universe. I, I think I'm much more eager than you are to jump from basic life to intelligent life. I feel like if there's life everywhere, like the odds are there has, like we cannot, like you have, oh, I see. You're you're saying it, there could have been many intelligent civilizations out there, but they just keep dying out. It's like little- Yeah, I was detecting them, you know, ships in the night. Ships in the night. Oh, that's that's ultra sad. Just like is it sad? A graveyard. The Earth is events. not better for having us. Is it? We. It doesn't there's, owe us anything. Would you, you be sad to find alien giraffes? Would you be disappointed if you found alien giraffes? Because I would not. No, well, giraffes. First of all, they look goofy with their necks and everything. But, but no, we do not shit on giraffes. <laughs> okay, giraffes are right. wondrous animals. Are deeply understudied. We still know so little about them because no one does PhDs in giraffes. I am disappointed. I made a PhD in phosphine when people aren't doing PhDs in giraffes. We do not know enough about giraffes. I think it was like Ricky Gervais that did a whole like long thing in you about can't Ricky Gervais <laughs> to talk about giraffes. That is not his expertise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a stupid next. It Why? doesn't make any sense. I, it, that, that, I mean, that's giraffes fine. Giraffes are very resourceful animals who do incredible things and can kick a lion. Why don't you fist. climb the tree? Why don't you climb the tree? You don't need to grow uh, through the uh, the lengthy evolutionary I'm process. Shitting on giraffes. I do, okay. Well, giraffes fine. are wondrous uh, animals. I would uh, very appreciate take it. it back. I, I take it back. I apologize. I, I trust. I trust your expertise on this. Uh, the 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 thing that makes humans really fascinating and i think the earth but i'm a human is where we create Disclaimer. yeah we create things that are yes there's all the ugliness in the world there's all the on the on the bi uh, biological on the chemical level there's the pollution but we create beauty if you if you even from a physics perspective look at symmetry as somehow capturing beauty, the breaking of symmetries, stuff grounded in all the different definitions of symmetry, we're good at like creating things. So are spiders. But not giraffes. Okay. But yes, this is a spiders. <laughs> yes, there are spiders that create little bubbles of air so they can breathe underwater. They can literally scuba dive. There are spiders that can create parachutes so they can glide. Yeah. And talk about symmetry. Look what spiders can do. And I just thought of spiders. But if I was an alien species coming to Earth, there'll be plenty to wonder. And we would just be one. One of the things. Yeah, clunky. Yeah. Naked monkey. Yeah, the ants might be even more fascinating. Exactly. The ants. Ants can figure out exactly through some emergent consciousness what the maximum distance between their trash their babies and their food is just from without any of them knowing how to do this and collectively they've learned how to do yeah. this if i was an alien species i'll be looking at that well so that was the other thing i was going to mention the second thing is i tend to believe we, we can engineer consciousness but at the at the basic level understand the source of consciousness because if consciousness is is unique to humans, and if we can engineer it, that gives me hope that it could be present elsewhere in the universe. That's the other thing that makes, it's Agreed. an open question, that makes humans perhaps special is not maybe the presence of consciousness, but some kind of, somehow a presence of like elevated consciousness. It does, 
again, maybe human centric, but it feels like we're more conscious than giraffes, for example, and spiders. Yes, uh, I won't deny that. I, I, there is something special about humans. I, you know, they're my favorite species. They I, are. They are. You know, okay. some of my best friends are humans. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, I, <laughs> I, I think highly of humans. It's yeah. it's great. I just don't have great hope for our longevity. And specifically, I don't have great hope given that we're the only species out of five billion that did this cool consciousness trick. I just, I don't want to bet on finding um, a kinship elsewhere. That's quite interesting to think about. I don't think I've even considered that possibility that the, that there would be life in the solar system. So that indicates that very possibly life is like literally everywhere. Yeah, everywhere right. it can happen, it does. Yeah, you know? and mo like especially what we're discovering with the exoplanets now, uh, they're how numerous they are, or Earth-like habitable quote unquote planets. There's like they're everywhere. The most it's, common type of planet is yeah. rocky, it seems. And so, if, but I didn't consider the possibility that life is like literally everywhere, and yet intelligent life is nowhere long enough to uh, to communicate with each other, to form little clusters of um, civilizations that expand beyond the solar system and so on. Man, maybe becoming a multiplanetary species is uh, is a less likely pursuit than, um, than we imagined. I but, agree. But one of the things that makes humans beautiful is we hope. But I, I hope for humanity. And one of the things I hope for is that we become less obsessed with conquering and we become less obsessed with spreading ourselves. I hope that we transcend that, that we're happy with the universe without having to go and take it. So you can hope for the species without hoping for a multi-planetary existence. That is only, I think, the drive of our most primitive instincts to go and take, to go and plant a flag somewhere. We love planting a flag somewhere. And maybe we could overcome that minor drive. And once we do, the AI systems we build will destroy us because we're too peaceful and they will go and conquer and plant the flags. Best of luck to them. The cockroaches will be happy to um, <laughs> Keep their keep to the business I as tend they to, always have. I tend to believe that robots can have the same uh, elegance and consciousness and all the qualities of kindness and love and hope and fear that that humans have. In yeah. principle, they could. Yes, What's I don't really trust the people who make them. <laughs> this is about the giraffe comment, isn't it? it okay, is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't forgiven you for shitting on giraffes. What have they done to you?